Okay. Good morning, children. Uh, here we are with our last lesson from the block number 24, Motions of the Earth. Topic is varying length of day and night. Okay. So, in this block, we have already covered the rotation. Rotation means rotating around uh, on its own axis without moving on its own axis. And then we have understood that circle of illumination and axis are the two important points of rotation. And then we have covered revolution and understood that the tilt of the earth, because of that, we get seasons. And in our last class, we have covered the topic of solstice and equinox. In today's class, we are going to learn the reasons for different lengths of days and night. Why uh, we have sometimes longer days, shorter nights, and why sometimes uh, longer nights and shorter days. So let's do a review of our till now. Rotation is the turning of body about on its own axis without moving. And that gives us day and night, 24 hours. Revolution is the mo motion of one body around another. Here we are doing, earth is doing around the sun. And because of that, we receive seasons. And it takes 364 uh, and something day era hours. And because of that, that remaining hour, 6 hours, when after 4 years we calculate we get 24 hours and that in that way we get one leap year one day is added to the month of february now why do we have season, seasons sorry seasons because i've already told you because of the tilt of the earth and revolution the tilt of the earth and the revolution around the sun called the earth to have seasons now today's topic the reason for different day and nights is that First is spherical. It's not round. It's a spherical. Spherical means little longer and little uh, like that. R not round. It's little spherical. I hope you know the shape of a spherical. So the, because of the shape, the earth is spherical and the circle of illumination remains constant. Whether this hemisphere or that hemisphere, circle of illumination will always remain constant. And because of the tilt of the earth, the hemisphere which is facing the sunlight will always have longer days. And when it turns it back and this side receives more sunlight, they will have longer days. So same here when the sun rays is receiving the hemisphere, they have more daylight, shorter nights. And when they come back, this side have longer days and this side have shorter nights. Same thing. And this is where we have longer days and shorter nights. Okay. In summer and winter difference in both the hemisphere. Now, the basic reason will be because the tilt of the earth rotation revelation all these are res responsible in changes of day and night changes of length of day and night and plus the length of daylight and darkness okay the main reason is the tilt of the earth and rotation and revelation including with that now here in this diagram you can understand see suppose when the sun rays is received coming when the sun rays is coming you can see the upper part where it shows no where it shows no no night no night why because this part this part you can see always in the darkness all throughout the time and this part you can see is always under the uh, darkness sorry this part is always under the sunlight and this part is always under the darkness sorry so so no day here here no day because sunlight is not receiving and here no night because sunlight is all the time receiving now this area receives more sunlight so they have longer day and this area receives less sunlight so they have shorter day now when this circle will rotate and come to the other half when this part will change then you will find the same things happening this side and this same thing happening this side when they will rotate back okay so that's the simple thing now here both the pictures are given together you can see that longer days and shorter nights in northern hemisphere see this this tilted part you see this side is there and when it rotates and comes back you see this tilted part is this side and because of this because of this what these sides are facing now this they will be facing this when they turn back and this side will change into this side and this is how when the sun rays are directly over the tropic of cancer tropic of cancer we have longer days shorter nights in the northern hemisphere and when the sun is directly over the tropic of capricorn we have shorter days and longer nights now for example uh, in in india we are in the northern hemisphere and now in winter as the winter is approaching now the sun is directly in the uh, tropic of capricorn that's why we are having shorter days and longer nights slowly and slowly we will have more longer nights and shorter 
days. So this way you can understand. Lastly, we have also uh, studied last class about solstice and equinox. Solstice is equinox when the sun rays fall directly on the equator. And when the sun rays fall directly on the equator, what happens? We get equal day and equal night. So equal day and night we get on vernal and autumnal equinox. When the sun rays is directly over the equator, okay, that time we get equal day and equal nights. That's when uh, equinox happens. Okay, and this again, this is also again changes when in equinox we are having this kind of thing. When it rotates back and goes to the other part, in the spring this will change this side, this will change this side, and the uh, scenario reverses. Okay, so same thing like what I explained just now northern hemisphere. When northern hemisphere having this and that, when it comes this side. Southern Hemisphere enjoys that. What Northern Hemisphere? It's just vice versa. Once you understand one hemisphere, the other hemisphere gets the same thing on the other side. So there is one picture. Just now I was explaining that one place when there is no light means all time day. And then in the down I was explaining uh, uh, that no day, all night. So you can see the upper one is uh, you can see Norway. The picture is here. Where you can see the sun, day, sun can be seen even at the night. Whole day the sun can be seen. And that's why we say that no night. But their darkness comes a little bit. But still they can see the sun. Because the sun rays is falling on that area. So they can see the sun. And this is again Antarctica. When you can see they are in the down part. Where there is no light. So no day in fact you can say. But some kind of rays do come. But they have uh, almost nights. And in Norway, they have almost day as the sun rays receives, as I have shown you in that picture. The upper one is in the Arctic Circle, the down one is in the Antarctic Circle. Lastly, please read the section varying length of day and night from the content book, page number 28-29. Complete my learning chart in your content book. Complete additional questions 1 and 2 in your content book. Question 5. I think this is one mistake is there. Uh, uh, there, this should be only complete additional question 1 and 2 in your content book. This question 5 is already done. So this one is mistake. Sorry. Complete the assignment in Google Classroom. If you have any doubt, please contact me. So 1 and 2 in the content book. Additional question. Okay. And about assignment question, I would like to tell you once last time is that why we have day and nights in different latitude, up, down, different latitude. The reason is tilted of the earth and spherical shape. Okay, spherical shape of the earth. Now, why we have day and night in different times like January, February, March, April? Why in different times we have different length? That is because again tilt of the earth and revolution. Okay, so, so uh, different day and night at different latitude. Reason is tilt of the arc and spherical in shape. Different length of day and night in different times like January, February, March, April to December that is because tilt of the arc and revelation. So I hope you are clear. Okay. Lastly, stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Uh, your assignments might not be uh, get, getting checked. One or some are left because I am just busy with the exam paper. But once that is done, uh, by this week, everything will be completed. You please keep doing your work. And thank you. Uh, stay home, stay safe. And see you in next class. Bye-bye.